Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 6, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios. And you're welcome to copy our trades over here at Etero or see our full technical analysis on Patreon, where you also can follow find our courses and our online trades so the link is links are down below good luck um welcome back we are here on itzero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market and this is going to be my daily forecast for tuesday april 6 2021 if you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to follow our trades and copy your trades over here at eZero. And for full technical analysis of our trades, you can join us over at Patreon, where you also can find our courses and live trades. So the links are down below. Uh, you're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at WTI, WTI oil, sorry. And uh, as you can see, this has been also been a very turbulent day. So there has been massive moves in this market in the last two weeks. And it has been, well, if you've been day trading, an absolute gold mine for, for day traders. So for example, here we had a massive move of uh, breakdown of 9%, and then we have rallies of 6%, the breakdowns of 7%. And today we were basically down 6% and we had a massive pullback. We're trading just underneath the 50 moving average and there is an area here that is uh, very supportive so it looks like it's been difficult to get through this area here this is around the uh, 58 to 56 dollar uh, range technical indicators are all turning around macd is in negative territory so we're officially in basically in a downtrend at this current stage and uh, we're well underneath the signal line. MACD, Stochastic is also crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. CCI is nearing a minus 100, becoming significant bearish. And also RSI is very low at this current stage and also is uh, pointing to lower levels. So momentum is definitely to the downside. We have also a um, trend line here that we are that we basically have to break in order to go higher. And it looks like every time we basically rally up towards this trend line, it basically breaks down. We can see that the 20 exponential is probably going to cross the 20 or 50 moving average the next day or two, and that will basically kick this even lower. We can look at how low we basically can go in this market when we're considering the Fibonacci retracement levels. We can say the first one is right here at 55. Then we have the second one at 50, and then we have the 200 moving average, and the third at a 61.8 Fibonacci retracement down level at 46. So in order to go higher from here, we basically need to break this uh, trend line, uh, and then we can go higher. Otherwise, breakdowns from here will most likely find major support at these Fibonacci retracement levels. So let's look at net gas. So as you can see, NASGAS has absolutely fallen apart today. We are trading well underneath the 200 moving average. And at this current stage, it looks like we're going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average, indicating that we'll have a major change in the trend of this um, of basically natural gas. 200 moving average was basically holding significantly uh, for a very long time. But these rallies, well, they didn't basically get very far we didn't even get close to the 50 moving average and then we basically broke down technical indicators are all turning around to uh, and are bearish at this point macd is basically in uh, negative territory and it's about to cross the signal line stochastic has crossed the signal line and the cci is heading toward minus 100 and uh, very bearish signal here as well so 20 will cross 50 will most likely also follow in the next uh, week or two and we will see this change for basically a major major shift to the downside rallies at this point towards the 20 exponential will most likely be sold into so it's not looking very good for natural gas if we rally from here and break above the 20 exponential then we'll most likely find major resistance here at 2.7 so let's look at copper So copper has rallied from the basically the bottom of the bullish band or the 50 moving average, you can also say. We're trading at uh, uh, 4.136 at the current stage. Technical indicators are all turning around really aggressively. MACD is about to cross the signal line. We're still in um, uh, positive territory. We're still in this 
is uptrend. We saw this massive move to the upside and then we gradually went towards the 50 moving average and then we absolutely popped to the upside. At this current stage, we are finding resistant where we also find resistant in the past. So we could basically see this pull back a little bit towards the 20 exponential. But uh, at this current stage, pullbacks are kind of expected to be bought into. Next target most likely will be 4.34. So let's look at gold. So gold is trying to rally. We have basically been seeing it rally for the last three days, but here's still a major hurdles here at the 20 exponential. So we had basically a double bottom. Uh, technical indicators are uh, turning around. MACD is still in negative territory, but has crossed the signal line. So if we manage to break above the 20 exponential, we could head towards the 50 at uh, 1768. And uh, be, after that, we could head towards 1800. But we need to get across the 20 exponential breakdown from here. We'll most likely find support down here at 1690. And uh, break below that could uh, open the door all the way down to 1600. So let's look at silver. So silver also has tried to rally, but also is struggling here at the 200 moving average. And then we have the 20 exponential right above. So where gold will go, most likely silver will most likely also fall. Usually, gold, uh, basically, silver follows gold. So, at this current stage, technical indicators are all turning around, except for the MACD that is flat at this current stage. It's still in negative territory. We are still in this uh, technically downtrend here, trading just above the 200 moving average. Break above the 20, opens the door to the 50, as yes, 26. Break below the 200, opens the door to the very bottom of the bullish band here at the 20. D4. So let's look at platinum. So most of these um, uh, precious metals have basically been rallying also commodities uh, today. Um, so platinum has also rallied above the 20 exponential and we're trading at uh, this current stage at the 1207. So we'll mostly find a major resistant here at the 1230. Um, technical indicators are all turning around, even the MACD is heading into positive territory, so we are basically uh, continuing this uptrend here. 50 moving average was basically a territory where we found the major support and have basically all the way in the past, also the 20 exponential. So we need to go and test these previous highs here, which is also the top of the bullish band. If that breaks, then we could head to 1300. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium continues to rally. We did break down and then we uh, we basically rallied and created this uh, fairly, well, not really bullish hammer, but we're trading at the 26.58. Technical indicators are, well, flat or a little bit bullish at this point. We had this massive rally here and then broke down really hard towards the 20 exponential. And now we're struggling at these previous highs. We could see this continue uh, fall back towards the 20 exponential, which most likely will be bought into again. So we are, looks like making lower highs here. And as long as that is the case, we will continue to go higher. So basically pullbacks are basically the buying opportunities. Um, 27.50 is the, basically the target at this current stage. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium uh, has been dropping the last, uh, basically the last three days, really heavily towards the 20 exponential. And now we're basically finding support at the 20 exponential. And it's just a continuation of uh, basically the same pattern that we've basically seen for the last few trading days. Taking indicators are either uh, basically are very negative for the, at this point, are very bearish at this point. We can see that MACD is um, crossing the signal line and it is basically bearish. The same is where stochastic is bearish, but the CCI is turning around. So this is basically the only real positive indicator at this current stage that we are basically going to rally from here. Uh, and also historical uh, bounces of the 20 exponential. So if we bounce from here, we could head towards the top of the bullish band at the 2277. Break below here, opens the door all the way down to the 50 at 2116. So let's look at nickel. So nickel is still just hanging around here at the 200 moving average and the 20 exponential. At this current stage, uh, break below the 200, then it's basically probably a uh, short. Break below the 20 and the 50, that could open the door back to these very highs. Otherwise, 
nothing really is happening here. It's just still a wait. We will have the 20 moving in this direction, the 200 moving this direction. This will basically end into a corner, and then it has to basically move either to the upside or the downside. Otherwise, just wait for this. So let's look at sugar. So sugar uh, has found a little bit of a bottom, uh, tried to rally today and then broke down yet again. Technical indicators are still in negative territory. They are slowly turning around. MACD is still negative territory well beneath the signal line. Stochastic looks like it's going to cross the signal line or it's just flat. And the, and the CCI is still in negative territory here at the 100 and minus 109. So yes, we could we, if we uh, fell towards the 200 moving average, then it'd probably be a much safer bet to buy this to the upside. Otherwise, we could fall to the downside. We could also rally to the 20 exponential, then fall down. So at this current stage, it's also just a wait at this current stage. So let's look at the cotton. So cotton, we uh, continue to fall and uh, it looks very similar to what ha is happening basically in, in, in the sugar market that uh, we are falling towards the 200 moving average before we find um, some kind of bo uh, bottom of this market. Rallies towards the 20 exponential have basically been sold into and at this current stage is basically in the middle of nowhere. Technical indicators are very bearish for this market. But still, we could see this rally rally towards the middle of the bullish band at 100, uh, 0.83 or break all the way down to the 200 moving average at 0.72. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa is uh, has rallied towards the 20 exponential and then it broke down again. So we are in a fairly massive uh, downtrend. This is actually... Um, the most predictable this has been for a really long time. The last time was basically here and here when we basically rallied and then broke down. And now we're breaking down. Uh, we have broke down below these levels here and most likely we'll target these previous lows at 2.233. If that breaks, we will head towards the 2.084. Rallies towards the 20 exponential have been sold into. We are also having these crossing of these, of these uh, moving averages. 20 exponential has crossed the uh, 200 and the 50 will most likely cross within the next few trading days. Otherwise, technical indicators are looking dreadful for cocoa. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has rallied up towards the 20 exponential, kind of found the bottom here and just above the uh, 200 moving average and then rallied towards the 20 exponential. And at this current stage, it looks like we are going to just um, a ping pong between the 200 moving average and the 20 exponential. 20 exponential will move this way, 200 moving average will move this way, and we'll probably head into the corner and then we'll either rally to the upside or rally you know, break down to the downside. Technical indicators are very, are mixed kind of. Uh, the MACD is still in negative territory underneath the signal line, but it's turning around. So is the stochastic, it's come, become bullish. CCI is still in negative territory and is heading towards the very bullish territory and the RSI is kind of bullish at this current stage. But 20 exponential is holding uh, fairly nice. So rallies towards the 20 exponential are expected to be basically sold into. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Itero or at Patreon. The links are down below. Good luck and thank you very much.